And without further ado, I would like to call on Volker Termerlin, who is the president of the Inter-Academy Partnership and the immediate past president of the German Academy of Sciences, Leopoldina, to give his introductory remarks. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting us. And on behalf of our group, I would like to thank you to being here. I learned from Joachim von Braun about this institute, and I was always curious to see and to meet people from here. It is well known internationally. We are very impressed by this uh, work you are doing, and, feel, and we feel very honored to have a chance to present our project here. Now let me just to introduce the Inter-Academy Partnership so that you are familiar with it. The Inter-Academy Partnership is a global network of science and medical academies, and it was founded in 1993 and is distributed, as its name says, globally. It has, as you see on the bottom of the slide, over 130 member science national academies, including medical academies and academies which do have a strong technological or engineering arm. And these academies have started to reorganize themselves to be in the position to, to work together. Number one, as you see on the bottom, we have four regional networks in Asia, in Europe, in the Americas, and in Africa. And on top, you see three additional global networks, one network which is working with me in medicine and health, the other one in science, and, and then the third one is doing research and giving policy advice, so the name of reports will be ch changed into policy soon. And above all this is a board, and this board, the Inter-Academy Partnership Board, consists of representatives from these different regional networks and from the three global networks. Okay, what are the strategic objectives for IAP? Basically, we would like to provide science advice to policymakers and to society, picking important issues in society and in politics, and give science explanations and ex explain to the politician the basis so that they, when they make decisions, know what they are doing, hopefully. The, of course, we are trying to strengthen the global enterprise among our members. We have a big program on science education and uh, work towards scientific literature, global citizenry. And of course, we have tried to increase the number of science academies worldwide, in particular in Africa. OK, what, is the, to, what I have to tell you about this report. The idea of taking this issue is obvious. This is a very important question. And certainly, the scientific aspects have been neglected and not actually approached by a, global, by a global network. And so therefore, we decided to pick up this issue and to work on it from a point of science. So we have organized regional expert groups in the different continents. We have agreed on a common template so that we can compare, actually, the outcome which comes there. And of course, we have focused on the scientific opportunity. I see my time is running, and I was told I have to stop in about one, and one minute and 30 seconds. So I have to make it short. <laughs> so what are, the, what are the major questions we have dealt with? Well, I don't think I have the time to read it to you. You can read it yourself. But we, def we were defining 10 major questions for the simple reason that everybody was had a direction on what subject and topics they should work. And at the end, that we could have a chance to really compare the results. So you, you saw the first five. Now you have the second five. And <coughs> the outcome of this, what we got there, we put together in a, in a report. So we will see here outside four reports from Europe, from Africa, from the Americas, and, and from Asia. And in addition, a fifth report, which compares the answers to the question you have just seen on this slide. So, and uh, why is this also important for the SDGs? I mean, you are so well familiar with the topic, I don't have to deal with it. 
food and nutrition security has a big impact on the SDGs, and therefore I think it is also important from this point of view. I stop because I have only 24 seconds, so <laughs> thank you very much for giving us the opportunity, and I hope we have a very interesting discussion after the presentation. Thank you.